Hello everyone, and today I'm here with John. We're gonna talk about beer. Who doesn't love beer? John is the founder of Stretta Craft Beer, a beloved beer here in Malta by the Maltese and also all our tourists and people that live here. John, thank you so much for accepting my invitation. No problem. Can you tell us a little bit, uh, you know, how you came to say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start Stretta Craft Beer. What, what initiated it? So it uh, started many, many years ago, um, thinking at home. My family is um, very much enjoys making wine, making limoncellos, making nice. alcoholic drinks, and, uh, and it kind of started from there, uh, from, the, from wine, basically. But um, after wine, I started going on my own route to beer. I was always a very big beer fan, uh, always looking out for different styles and different types of beer. And I started home brewing by myself. Um, wow. I went through a few years of that until I started to notice that um, the beer that was coming out was actually quite good. It was, was actually quite something, and uh, lots of my friends were requesting it as well. Okay. Um, and the coin dropped. I thought it was a good idea to actually look at this uh, into being uh, a commercial activity. Yes. And um, then you you initiated. Yeah. So then, when quite happened quite as fast as that, um, <laughs> over the, over a couple of years, over actually three years, uh, I spent like, full time dedicated okay. to to uh, formulating the beer recipes, mm -hmm. um, at least especially the first one to launch with. And in December two thousand and sixteen, um, Sheta went out into the public uh, yes. and was launched throughout Malta and Goza. Yes, and it's very, very popular. Yeah, a lot. You can see it in many places, and and, and uh, my partner, who's not from Malta, um, he tasted it and he loved it a lot. And he's like, ah, I want more. But you know, we want to try and even ship it uh, um, abroad, which would be great. I love the one of the IPAs. Can you tell us a little bit the different types of um, of beer that you make? So at the moment there's two different beers. Um, one of them, the first one was the IPA that was launched in December 2016, mm -hmm. um, which as an IPA it's very citrusy, but also has a, a big floral background. Yes. Um, it's quite high in bitterness, but it's it's true to style. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's very much influenced by a lot of American IPAs, and I I, um, I was very much influenced there. The second beer that was released has a lower bitterness, so it's more of a pale ale style. Mm -hmm. um, it's in the style of an American pale ale, so it's okay. very hoppy, still very fruity, mm -hmm. um, but it's also using one of uh, the UK's best known malts, uh, it's called Maya Sutter. Okay. So back to the transatlantic pale ale, because mm -hmm. it's the best of the US and the best of the UK, yes. and it's brought into one. Um, after that beer, has been uh, the Sheta Clara, which was also a, a shandy made using mosaic, which mm -hmm. is the second beer that came out. Yes. Um, in store, next, Yes. there are a couple of other projects. I heard. Um, <laughs> one of them I can't really speak about for now. Uh, the other one is a beer that's celebrating a two year anniversary. Very nice. Um, it's, it's quite something as a beer. Excellent. Um, it's about 10% alcohol, um, it's quite high, but it's also very well balanced. <laughs> Who doesn't with, like that? <laughs> <laughs> it's also very well balanced with, uh, with the malt and uh, okay. the yeast content of it. If you guys haven't tried Strata beer, please do because it's amazing. Enjoy it. It's, you, know, it's, it's, you can find it everywhere basically in, in Malta and Gozo and we're hoping to, to you know, have it everywhere because it's, it's such an amazing um, beer. John, thank you so much. No problem. And thank you very much. Uh, for all you beer drinkers and non beer drinkers, you know, this is a, even a, a great Maltese uh, product. Um, great taste, great value, great story. And I'll see you guys soon.